Kevin Arena, how is everybody doing? Your man Joe Pia Spider here. And I just wanted to show you off today my new toy. Yep. It's an arcade one up counter machine. <laughs> now, if you know me personally, you know I love the arcade growing up during the 80s. Arcade was king and in my heart the arcade still is the king But hey, there's nothing like bringing it home But here we are I got Marvel super heroes now don't be fooled Like I was when I purchased it I'm thinking I'm just getting Marvel superheroes, but this here came with three extra goodies I got Marvel superheroes I've got the Punisher Marvel vs Capcom and I also have X-Men vs Street Fighter so that's four games four games right here now as you can see you got your basic arcade stick and because of today's uh, finding genre, you got your six buttons, two players, of course. And one thing you notice down here, well, there are the games I was telling you about, but hey, you don't got to put a quarter in. It's absolutely free. Which I would have loved during the 80s at the time when I pumped quarter after quarter in the machine. <laughs> Anyway, you got your instruction manual here. I mean, it's basically very simple. There's nothing hard to it. I mean, you just basically, you just plug it in and turn it on. It loads up and you're good to go. Let me show you the plug for a minute. All right, over here, this comes off, I assume... For those of you that are in foreign countries like Europe or Canada or somewhere in Asia, your outlet is different. So you can take this out and plug it in, plug in another one, and you know hook it up to whatever outlet you use in your country, which is very smart of them to think of, because not just Americans love arcades. Like I said, it comes just like this in a big box. Um, the screen is 8 inches, it's not too big, but let me go ahead and show you how it works. You got your on, off, you got your volume, and of course you hit that whenever you want to join a game or start a game or whatever. But here we go. Enough talking for me. The top lights up. It starts to load. Yeah, you gotta give it like a minute or two for it to load up everything. It doesn't take too long. Whoa! I didn't know it was turned up that loud. All right, you got your selection right here. You've got Marvel superheroes, and say so you click it right, and you got your Punisher, click it right. X Men versus Street Fighter, click it right. Marvel versus Capcom. Um, I'm going to go to Marvel superheroes. You go ahead, this one right here, and as you can see, you've got your button configuration. No different to the arcade. Hit start. Just wait for it to load the game. And voila. Just like that, just like the arcade. One thing I do like about this, it's small, it's light. I mean, it's really not too heavy at all. And as you can see, despite the screen being small, it's only 8 inches, by the way, in case you're curious. Um, the quality 
just like the arcade. I don't want to turn it up too mild, but the uh, sound, you know, I wouldn't know whether or not this was a arcade top or rather than I was in the arcade. I mean, the sound is amazing. You know, no complaints here. You know, one thing I do like, unlimited continues, you just go ahead, hit the start button, and you're good to go. Another feature, I'm just going to hit start here. Uh, I think I'll pick Spider-Man. That's it. No different than the arcade. Everything is the same. Let's just say if I'm in the middle of playing this. I got something on the stove, or, uh, you know, I want to use the bathroom, or I'm just bored. I just want to play something different. You hold this for about five seconds. All right. Now you got basically it's basically like your pause feature, but while you're at it, you get this screen here. You can resume your game, reset the game, start all over, or if you want, let's say you want to play something different, you can go ahead and you can quit the game. So you get those three options. I quit the game. Here I am at the beginning. And heck, Marvel vs. Capcom. And once again, you got your setup here for your button configuration. No different than the arcade. Cool, huh? Cool for the kids, but uh, <laughs> I'm quite sure the adults are going to be loving this thing too. I mean, rather you're traveling, or you know, even if you're a prepper like myself, you know, I love traveling. I'm also a prepper. This is perfect. It's not too heavy. You could easily fit this in an RV or something. Have this in the back, you know. Have the kids drive, and the adults are in the back. Mom and dad are in the back playing. <laughs> Hey, if you're a prepper, you know, you got your own uh, bunker, let's say. Hey, you got a cabinet with like four games on it. Can't get bored. You know, and it's also a psychological thing. You just can't sit there bored, you know, on the ground or even if you're in lockdown in your house. And it's one thing that the pandemic has taught me is, you know, you got to stay entertained. And have some way to entertain yourself. So it's perfect for everybody, Every, everyday normie, your traveler, uh, those of you that like to prep, this is good for you too. And this, I've actually purchased this, I want to say, I got this at JC Penney's, and it only cost just over $20. You know, I got four games on here. I mean, you got some that come with like a thousand plus over here, but you know, I wanted this one. I got nothing but good things to say about it. The only con I will say probably, I would say is the eight inch screen. I just wish the screen was probably about maybe 17, 18 inches. This is about eight. But other than that, I have absolutely no complaints. This is perfect. Go out, get yourself one. That's an easy setup. You plug it in, turn it on, you get your volume, got your controls. You know, bring out the kid in you. Get yourself one and get yourself uh, get yourself another one. Alright everybody, thought I'd show off my new toy. I'm gonna play me some Marvel vs. Capcom before I gotta leave out of here. Everyone have yourself a good day. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Spider out.